Hi, my crafty friends. You guys, let's make a hobnail inspired jar. So I just grabbed um, a jar out of my recycling bin. And what I like to do first is put a good coat of paint over the top of it. Now, you could spray paint if you wanted to. Um, I don't have any um, spray paint in white that's not gloss and I don't want this to be glossy so that's why I'm using some chalk paint so I'll put that on here I put way too much on so I had to wipe some <laughs> wipe some back but hey that's okay um, and then we're gonna let that dry completely so you can see down at the bottom of the screen there's those little puffy stickers from Dollar Tree I love these things so much. They can look like the little hobnails that we're using, but they also look like the faux wooden beads, the half beads, which I love too. Um, and they come in three different sizes, which is super cool. So I'm using the middle size. And um, then I am just sticking them all around. Now, I'm not worried about you know, any other glue to put them down because they are a sticker, just because since I painted it first, it will adhere really well to that. So I'm just doing a random pattern, which is very difficult for me <laughs> um, because normally I like, oh, okay, I did two in this line, three in that. But anyways, I just tried to do it really random. Um, I thought that would be kind of cool on this. Now, the bottom of this jar kind of dips down, um, same as the top, it kind of goes up a little bit. There's like a little bump and then where you, you know, screw in the lid. So I kept the stickers away from that because I wanted them to lay flat. So once I have all those on, then I'm going to get um, some more paint on this and we are going to do a coat of it. Now, I, what works good for me for coverage is two coats, um, obviously, but kind of working up and down or do, let me just talk. Let me just say this. Gosh, words are hard again today. Um, I'm kind of swiping down with the brush and then I go back up the other way. That way I'm getting really good coverage on all of those little stickers. But as you can see, when it starts to come together and you're kind of starting that first um, coat, it just looks so stinking cool. Now you saw also laying down there, or I guess you can still see it there. There's some of that lace fabric or not lace fabric, um, lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to actually put that around the top just to kind of hide uh, where the lid screws on. So here I'm going over one more time just to make sure that none of the stickers um, are showing through, that everything's coated in white really well. Um, and then I will just hot glue that lace right around the edge. And at first I was going to add, I kind of have this pe these peachy color flowers and I thought, oh, I'm gonna put those in there. And then I was like, oh, I don't think I have enough. My opening was a little bit wider than I thought. So I decided to um, just use the faux pompous grass that we did a while back um, because I just love those so much. And so here's how it turned out. And I love how cute these are. Uh, we could do all different sizes, which is really cool. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.